Miles is doing. <laughs> Children, <laughs> they don't know about penises. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> Man, we have some good offline conversations. I'm a mysterious JG. <laughs> I'm Zerfall. Especially Zerfall who said that, but he was too embarrassed to repeat it. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't be in there if they didn't steal so much. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, <laughs> steal penises. So, yeah, we're uh, deep underground in a volcano. It turns out our mole friend can't dig us out of here to safety. Go figure. So we're just going to keep going in in the hopes that we level up at strategic times that will keep our MPs high. No, <laughs> dig up, you idiots. <laughs> just hasn't been working out for us so far. Sadly, this is a party that we can defeat, but it involves using her precious MPs with the poison mist to really, I'm like... I if we should just kill those two little side guys first, considering this eyeball is just going to heal most of the damage he receives this turn anyway. That's true, and actually, you know what, one fire across is probably enough. Her MPs are pretty precious until, uh, you know, without us knowing how long it'll take for her to level up. Ooh. Yeah, ah. see, I think, I think that eyeball triggers its giant heal when, uh... When it takes hurt. massive damage. Well, that being said, we can't one-shot it, so... Oh no, the ocarina. Oh, no, the the only way to defeat this is to run away after we've fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, we've missed everybody, though, except for Ernie. Ernie's just a lazy son. <laughs> it's funny that they have so many different, um, like, poses for everybody. But not a sleep pose. They're like, we have defense poses where they're all ducking down and hiding. We have victory poses. We have getting ready to attack poses. We have what am I going to do poses. And then sleeping, they're just like, yeah, they just stand in the regular fight pose and have some zeds come out of their heads. Avatar's defense is pretty awful by now, but I like that she finished it off with her little wimpy, uh... Hey, Tokyo Rose, level 19. So oh man, one more for her, I think. So apparently the multiples of five seem to be when they get good stuff. Oh, and the avatar has exit magic, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, that uh, we just got to make sure that if all else fails, we have eight MPs in reserve. And I think we probably have items that give him small amounts of MPs too. Oh, I. Don't She's gonna learn scatter shot. Scatter shot. Twenty, which isn't amazing, but uh, it's not so bad. It's twenty-one where she learns thunder spear. A monster struck first. I was actually thinking about just running away from these guys, too, but fuck that. That's gonna <laughs> do that shit. These Humalumalons are gonna. This guy's gonna pay for this. You were gonna pay. Even with my reduced defense, I can stand up to you. Nom 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 nom. Margle garble. Avatar rose to level 30. Nice. And he learned new magic. Hospital magic learned. Mm. And spark blade mastered. Ernie rose nice. to level 16. Nice, nice, nice all around. I guess we'll just check and see if this is a whole another level or just a little treasure room. And it's just a little treasure room. No, it's a whole new level. Super, you found the hot boomerang. It's the hot in Cleveland boomerang. I have no idea if that show is still on. I think I saw part of one episode of that show. Alright, so. Spark Blade, 50% fire all. That might not be too bad. I'm wondering if we should take away the, uh, the one uh, item that we gave to uh, the drunk wizard, the, the, the good staff for him. Oh, damn it, guys. Well, I think that... And give Everybody it to loses Ernie. their items when you get rid of people. Oh, maybe they do. Because they're just, it's on loan because they're actually, it's our items. They're owned by Avatar and he just lets them borrow them. That's true. None of these guys are allowed to own property. Avatar is uh, the big brother over their society. Hey, double attack. Lucky. Oh, and it's curing all. I should have known that was going to happen. So now all the damage we've done to those guys is gone. Well, Luckily, it twin, turns out that... Twin Flare seems to be broken. Turns out what? No, it, we're probably better off just doing the... Uh, the big damage. The big attack. Enemy, yeah. Two times damage at once instead of half damage three times. Well, it's 1.5 times damage. You're actually dealing more damage, but... Um, 
it's still not helping you that much. Well, it would have, if that thing didn't trigger its heal all, it would have yeah. uh, died much quicker afterwards, too. But. I'm kind of vaguely hoping these attacks will finish off that other lizard guy, but. Oh no, the Oh no! No, that's actually really bad. Oh, screw it, not worth it. <laughs> Alright, no, seriously, it's just not. <laughs> it's not, no. Not in town. We were fixing to lose Toki, which isn't as big a deal as... Oh, you know what? Toki now has fewer hit points than Bird and probably lower defense. Uh, Vitality, let's see. Defense 94. Defense 94. Yeah, so the time has actually oh. come to put our... She's become eclipsed by a bird. It's only level 16. Put our little 10-year-old white mage in the back row behind somebody who's supposed to be a warrior character. Super, you found the protect ring. It might be oh, good maybe that's somebody. something to put on somebody. Maybe that's a ring that people can wear. Now, everybody has these Tory socks, but... Which might not be the best that... thing. Oh, he can't protect... Oh. He can. It takes his defense. Defense doesn't go anywhere, actually. Hmm. I wonder what it defends against then. I don't know, but the winged boots are not an option for him. Maybe they're maybe they're ladies' boots. Well, I'm not that worried about it, frankly. Hmm. There's the antidote ring. The power chest. ring. Protection ring. Super plus ten defense. Power ring. So we just got the power ring. Power, oh, I love the power, power ring. ring. So bad. <laughs> it is bad. The power ring gives you plus 10 uh, defense. Now it might be worthwhile to do this. Maybe. Probably not. What is this special attack he does? Wind two times on one. And she should still do as much damage as she's always done from the back row because she's got a bow. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, he's not doing terrible damage anymore. That used to be like five damage. I think we never tried to special after he got past level one, uh, 10. <laughs> we sort of tried it once, gave up on it right away. So, Triton, ladies and gentlemen. Triton. And somehow that's water damage, even though he uses some sort of bright flash from his tri trident, trident, trident. Oh, that's right, she's going for the aim attack. I forgot it takes two turns. Particle. But you get that extra 5% or 0.5 bonus. 50%. Or you never shoot. Or you never shoot. We're getting some mad pearls here, though. Like, a thousand pearls of battle every ten battles. This house. Yeah. We could build, like, uh, more bars. Eventually, we gotta summon that guy who uh, is just living off of refuse. <laughs> that we know about because of the fact. Because otherwise, we'd have given up on it by now. So, we're probably looking at a boss battle on the other side of this. So... And this part of the cave is so fierce it needs to have chains to hold it in place. Ooh, it's getting kind of scary. Spooky. Oh, no, oh, don't, the... no, don't worry. There's there's arrows on the ground. Everything's good. The Hojo clan and their dark triforces. Really? You're going to have a cutscene and then put a random battle here? Well, not the one that we got to do. I feel like we should be encountering war mech in this hallway. It's like right before the boss, but it's still got random encounters. Oh man, he's like the evil version of Captain Bird. He's kind of the giant obese version. Is there like a... That might all be muscle. He might be jacked. I'm just looking for uh, stamps. <laughs> yeah, you intruders. Are you here to serve the newly anointed Lord Gilder? I'm in the same place as the bird guy, you see. Oh, if it isn't Chief Screw Boss Big Bird. Screw... Chief Screw Boss Bird. <laughs> God. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> how accommodating. I'll settle my long-term axe grind with you right now, Mr. Boss Man. 
Oh well, no, but they're not in the same place. He's in the same place as that prisoner. <laughs> I'm sure I've screwed it all up. Gilda, give yourself up now and I'll let you live, boy. He he he, you're in no position to grant any favors, boss bird. They can't beat me now, no matter how strong you think you are. Eh, yeah, we may look old and decrepit, but this mysterious shell has rejuvenated and even enhanced me power. I won't lose to a bunch of snot nosed kids. And yeah, so in fairness, there's a better story a... than you would have gotten if you came with uh, with a bird man. And in fairness, he does have a ten. We do have a ten year old kid in the party. Oh, look at this guy. He's not a bird at all. He's just an old man with a crazy beard, which makes him look like some kind of Hindu god. <laughs> all right. So wait, what was this one? Oh, if you no, know, that's if you want to use yeah, tactics. Forget, forget that. We didn't bring Zhuge Liang with us. So fire. So what's the, what's and... the newest? Hosp spell. Uh, it's still healing one, but it's healing uh, 60 instead of. Oh, oh, very good. I was perfect for a healing bird if he has one hit point left. Well, it. Let's see, it goes from 30 to. Yeah, it triples the MP cost and doubles the healing, so it's not good for. Boo! Hiss! It's not I good hate when for. Do that. Yeah, it's it not should good always for, get more efficient. It's not good for healing outside of uh, combat. So hopefully he is not immune to uh, fire, because if he is, he will be significantly more difficult for us to defeat. Now if he does get poisoned, it will be a good thing to have all combat. Yeah, if he gets poisoned, this should be fairly simple, actually. And he's immune no, to fire. At least it was just zero and not heal, although at this point it would have been... Yeah, that's going to matter now. So if he's immune to poison, yeah, we're kind of in a bad place here. Well, you might be weak against this water stuff, then. Yeah. If he did 45, it was supposed to only do 30. Weakish. So I guess Avatar's become our only healer and also an attacker. <laughs> you can keep doing... I didn't really notice how much that did. Uh... Probably it's going to be better than. Let's see. Holy rain. Well, what the hell? That would seem to be working with Triton, okay. Oh, 61's not bad damage for regular attack. No. Holy rain. Just kind of have to hope that our two mages don't get one shotted. I can only assume by the fact that this guy's hair has gotten so big that he's actually, this is like, his final form. He's leveled up. No, no, he's he gets bigger and bigger. This is actually his third form where he's like huge and monstrous. And then his fourth form, he turns into this really streamlined penis-looking guy. <laughs> so we got that to look forward to. This is the worst version of Medusa. <laughs> I was thinking of Frieza, I think. That can't work. Damn it. Ooh, lucky. He hasn't really, and I, I shouldn't be saying this, I'm asking for trouble, but he hasn't really had a lot of, like, offensive threat so far. Just knocking on wood there. Oh, he blocked up! He's blocked up. He needs to... Get some roughage. Now he's blocking up, but like, I think half to three quarters of our attacks are all magic based, so if they're just physical defense that he's building up, he's not doing much for him. Agreed. I you know I'm hoping that we win this battle. <laughs> so <it's cool. laughs> I was I was hoping against it, but now I was I, on this I want to be on the same page as you, I guess. So yeah, that's true, we gotta sync up here. It, it, I mean, it, we're doing a little less damage with our physical, but not. It's not really. How, oh, well, okay, that was a pretty big difference. It went from thirty to four. Mm hmm. But the problem is that the uh, avatar, if we physical damp Megamore. Oh. Okay, well that actually wasn't too bad. Although Triton can't survive another hit like that. I, I mean, I'm not going to obsess. I, you know, I will not. 
always picking on all dragon. I'm not gonna like flip out and load and like abandon the video if we can't um, defeat like if we d win the battle, but like some of our party members don't get the experience out of it. But uh, definitely be a little annoyed if that happens. Now he's the only one that no, I was gonna say he's the only one that goes after the boss for when he uses items. Oh, yes, that was actually not good that I did that way. It goes for well, it depends on what the guy decides to do. Well, Ernie's maybe he'll do the... Mega Less. Eh, maybe he won't get maybe off he'll shot just at die. all. You youngsters can find... Oh no, he is going to go into his penis form! <laughs> but you lack experience, so try again, suckers. Wait, what? Oh, maybe this is a plot. Man, I feel the weight of the <laughs> He's pressed to nothing. <laughs> you guys suck. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, oh, it's a plot battle. We can't win. Oh, wait, wait, no. <laughs> if so, it was a very poorly designed plot battle. Maybe. I wonder he, if you just need to beat him twice. I'm wondering if now he's he can be hurt by fire. It seems unlikely, but I'll try. I was like, you never know, his weakness might have changed. Okay, it didn't. And I brought my defense down by trying that particular fire attack, so that was actually not very wise of me. Oh, no. Bada bang. Oh, please don't die. Uh, what's your name? Oh, never mind. It only hits, hits one, and it doesn't really do very much at all. It's too bad we don't have, like, uh, Drunky McGee with us for this fight, because uh, then there would be, like, irony that he's calling us youngsters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or maybe they could connect on some level and become friends. <laughs> he just joins the enemy. It's like the end of uh, any Breath of Fire game where the avatar in that game can <laughs> choose just to... Yeah, just, just for, you know, a minute. Pretend you're going to join and then see that it doesn't go anywhere. Lucky. I'm still upset that... They let you. They make it seem like a but thou must in uh, Breath of Fire 3, but then if you just keep saying yes, eventually <laughs> your party members are like, I okay, whatever. All right. We're gonna peace out of here then. And then, like, they make it so hard to get, but then you get the bad ending, and the bad ending is just you standing next to the end boss, and it's like, and they did rule the world together, the end. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> I don't quite remember that. I, I think there was an ending where you just hang out forever with uh, your friend from chapter one of the game. Or like, alright, we'll just hang around together in this, like, weird hidden forest place. I can't really remember clearly. But the guy who turns into the dark dragon, like, oh yeah, you can just hang around with him forever and just not do anything. Mm hmm. I feel like. Oh yeah, that's true. That is one too. I feel like. Any game where they give you an option for a bad ending, they should at least make it interesting instead of just being like, bad end. I was rather fond of Breath of Fire 2's bad end, where it's like, okay, well, uh, you know, for a couple of years, um, things are okay, but then an unstoppable horde of demons comes out, and <laughs> everyone is killed. Good job. You're like, oh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay, so we are officially running out of MPs with our mages. So... Okay, no message this time. Oh, so. now we have the experience he was talking about. 2,000 of them. Yeah, it's like, all right, now you guys have enough experience. I don't mind this one either. Ernie rose to level 17, too, so that's good. And that might be the only time in the game that it was important or useful to use Birdie. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that Gilder was a romantic fool to think he still had hope at his age. Whoa. You just need to give up. <laughs> the elderly should be put to death. Come on, uh, see this person voted for Obama. <laughs> the death panels. <laughs> yes, the death panels. God, oh, the people who are into the death panels are the ones who don't have a problem with the wall built by the anyway. Come on, Avatar, let's grab your shell and get out of this place. So we, yeah, we got one of the shells. This is like a big deal, right? Yeah, we just like stumbled our way into actually important events. What luck, Avatar got the Earth Shell. But wait a second. Now, we've got the... We have the Fire Shell. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens when you use it. 
We have the water shell. We had the water shell. Did we did we get that as a plot thing for beating uh Dogler, right? Uh no, we got our shell the uh we got the um orange ball behind us back for Dogler. We I think we got the water shell in the semen temple. Maybe? It kinda makes sense. Well anyway. I guess we gotta get out of here now, but Oh, I'm not too fussed about it. But uh, random it's... enemies will continue to show up. Well, you could just, you know. Oh, that's right. We could warp out of here if we wanted to. Uh, exit magic. Mm hmm. Whee! Tecmo Secret of the Stars. Avatar became Penon. Oh, it's the very northeast corner of the map is apparently where uh, Dima's island is. I've learned a valuable lesson. I will not repeat my mistakes. From now on, I'll make wise decisions and live quietly here on the prison island. Now, apparently they get to leave the island if they do good enough. Guys, I'll stole one piece of bread each. What a wake-up call. I know this must not cause any more trouble. I promise to live responsibly. I promise to drink responsibly. Ah, who am I kidding? No, oh, there's two guys in prison now. I don't know what you do with these voices. Crap, I almost forgot how much I hate being stuck in this dump. Oh, ho, ho. I came here to be alone so I could meditate in peace. I'm not locked in at all. Will you excuse me, please? I'm trying to dig my way out. Oh, you know, there's a there's a game they were they were like pimping it on like PlayStation Network. Um, it's like a retro graphics game where you're trying to escape from prison. Uh, I had these like really clear flashes of you doing an LP of that for some reason. I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's not. It's like Prison Break. It's not some like weird name, but it was yeah. It's like retro graphics game where you actually are trying to break out of prison and like I don't know. Don't worry about the island, Captain Bird. We'll maintain order here. I don't know why I had that accent. Was it the Escapist? That might. Yeah, I think that's it actually. Do what you feel you have. You must do, Captain. Leave, please leave the island to us. <laughs> well, last time we left the island to them, some guy took over and lived in a volcano. Yeah, but you killed away him, from so everybody. Everything should be good now. I'm ashamed that Gilder deceived me. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> I thought he was a totally good guy. This is the the guy that was friends with Bird. Mm. With a new lease on life, I've started down a new path. I live responsibly and show you I'm sincere. Please watch. And then he does a dance. I'm about to say he doesn't jig. <laughs> oh, the lessons from acting rashly are so painful, to ho ho. So the the building above this one should have like a bunch of people in it. This is Battler Island, home to many of Shelderado's most hardened criminals. I'm one of them. Oh, this is a hardened criminal. You have to ask yourself, what's this line for? <laughs> and this is Pogu Village, constructed of buildings that we prisoners built. From the bones of our enemies. Oh, Captain Bird, you look all worn out. Come wash your face. <laughs> Please suck from my many nipples. They're full of eggnog. Started flashing to a cinematic Titanic. Oh, normal village is returning to normal now. Why the whole village is returning to normal now? Truly, we appreciate all you did. And now our village has returned to normal. Truly, thank you very much. I'm glad I'm I'm still in Prison Island. It's amazing. Love it here. It just occurred to me with this uh, turban on his head. I don't know if the Avatar would be welcome in uh, America in a couple of years. But for now. We've got a few minutes left in this video. You mentioned, um... Northeast corner of the map. So, it, there's probably a better way, but... Alright. I don't know if it's the very far northeast, but we, we want to keep going up and to the right. But not... Do we want to check these islands here to the south first? Oh man, maybe, yeah. Who knows what's down here. It could There's be... not a whole lot going on here. Up the island city. Come on down, it will. Well, you know, they made the one that we just got done. If you approached it from the right...
places it looked like it was empty. They made a way into that little spot too, and then there's nothing going on on that island. There's some sort yeah, of some kind of sea nipple. <laughs> uh, it's pronounced snipple. Snipple, oh, you're right. Go, oh, we've it's a snip slip. Hmm. So is this just going to be where it cuts off and I can't I can't circumnavigate the world this way so they're going to make me go all the way north again? Probably. Where did we already come here? I don't think we've been down this far south before. Although these uh, enemies are all ones we've seen before. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We might be off of the, um, back onto like the main continent area now. Yeah, okay. So if we could find a place here where we well, could no, I go don't know south. If yeah. Oh, but there's a blockage. Again, they gotta eat more roughage. So I'm gonna, gonna, here like I am ensuring position. that we get the worst prizes ever from our stamp collecting, but... <laughs> oh, my frame skip. You just used eight hours to move across the screen. So, I think you can move to the yes. right here. Okay. I think we've been to this cave before. It was the one where there's a blockage in this one, too. Nope. Oh, no, we haven't been to this one. It's one with treasures. A snake Super. rod. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a mega hammer. Mommy, That's what nice. is that snake rod for? <laughs> uh, don't worry about that right now. Oh, maybe the snake rod will be of some use to Ernie. Oh, the travel snap is better than the, the snake rod? I guess he uses staffs, not rods. So, there you go. It's actually short for Rodrigo. It's a snake named Rodrigo. I was going to say uh, Rodney. Rod There's so many rod names, you can never assume. I didn't say I was... See, it looks like there's an under. It looks like that's a little cave to get into. I, I think the water level raises and lowers during the game at some point, and that will be a cave you can. Oh, so like we'll get to the world of ruin and uh, all that stuff will be accessible? Mm hmm. After Although. Burgerstall acts like he's going to be our friend. With the number of tsunamis they've had recently, less water in the world might not be a world of ruin. A world of flimsy. Okay, so we're kind of back on the main. Uh... Yeah, we gotta keep going up. The world. Moving on up. To the northeast corner. No, i there. Got a... Well, I think if this is someplace we haven't gotten to. Is this the northeast corner of the world? No. Not quite, but... but this, this is still worth exploring. But the question is, do we want to explore it now? Or do we want to leave the people something exciting to look forward to next time on Super Show Monster Story? What do you think? Yes. <laughs> yes. I agree. <laughs> anyway, folks, next time on Super Show Monster Story, we find out. Is this the place? Is the, Are these the droids we're looking for? Will Zerfall have to find a different stamp location from the one he's already ready to tell me about? <laughs> we will find out next time. I'm Mysterious JG. I'm Zerfall. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we hope to see you there the next time we do more Super Shell Monster Story stuff. Bye.